What's up, y'all? It's Child to Kevin, and this is a review video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a site I use to look up old English words. Uh, and this site is called bosworthtaller.com. And basically, what it is, it, it's a digitized uh, version of the Bosworth and Taller Anglo Saxon Dictionary. The good points of this site is that not only does it give you the word in Old English, but it also goes into tell you what gender it is, uh, what part of speech it is, and it also gives you examples from actual manuscripts uh, uh, of what context the word is. And yeah, it, that, that's that too. It gives a little explanation of of each um, different context uh, a given word is used, which is really good because in Old English you have a lot of um, well, you have one word that would mean many things in different contexts. As far as my experience with this site, I would say that this is a, if you will, an authoritative uh, source, if you will, because it has, because it has examples from manuscripts, it's pretty definite of what a given word means. However, to be fair though, I, this, this site isn't perfect, I mean it has some problems of its own, um, well, not problems, I would say cons, is that when you look up a word, when you click on advanced search and you type in under the uh, field that says, um, I'm sorry, under the drop down menu that says contains, to look up a, a noun, for example, you have to type in a, okay, for example, a bird. You can't just write bird, you, you won't get it right away. When you go in advanced and you type in a bird, then you get words that nouns, if you click off the, the box for nouns, you get. Uh, words that mean bird, and the thing is, when you're looking at verbs, you can't just write the word. I don't know. Let's say speak. You can't write speak and, and expect to get the ver verb to speak right away. Um, you have to in in, in the um, in the search. You have to type in to speak to get what you want. It, it, the thing is with this uh, website, there's a bit of a learning curve. Um, but what is good about it that uh, let's say you're looking up, uh, let's say, a, a prefix or a suffix, uh, and words that have that. The cool thing that, um, not in the advanced search, but in the regular search, if you will, if you just put in, let's say, let me give you an example of a uh, prefix. Um, for Yeah, the prefix of, of. You type in of, then a dash, then it gives you all the words in the Old English language. Uh, that have uh, of, uh, of as a prefix. Another criticism I have on this website, uh, despite how great it is, is that when it comes to accents, um, a lot of older books in Old English, about Old English, tend to print the accent on the second vowel when it comes to words. Well, words, I mean. But in actuality, uh, it's supposed to go in the first vowel. Um, for example, if you were to look up the word uh, yeol, it's G accent E. Yeah, G accent E O L. On the site, it gives you G uh, E, then accent O L. So that's something to bear in mind. As well, what would be nice about this website is that it, it would be nice if, um, if it had, if you look up a noun, and it will give you all the declensions of, of of the noun itself. And if you don't know what declensions are, um, they are the forms of a noun of uh, of the gr uh, grammatical case. You have nominative, uh, accusative, genitive, dative. I have uh, a series uh, about what these cases mean in, uh, in my playlist called uh, linguistic terms. However, in the reverse, what you could do is that, well, in, in the case of, let's say you have a word, but you don't really have the declension for it, and, and well, the, the other site, let's say you have another site that you go for declensions and, and that site isn't complete, what you could do, you can go to the Bosworth, um, Bosworth and Toller Anglo-Saxon Dictionary website, if you will, and you can look up the examples of, uh, the, um, of that given word and it might give you what you want. I mean you got to bear in mind that because it's an older language there might be some gaps and whatnot. That's something to bear in mind. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe. I usually make videos on Saturday, every Saturday, but the way things are going on now it's pretty much whenever I can really. 
If you like my stuff, please hit that like button. If you really like my material, please, please like and follow my Facebook and Twitter down below. My name is Kevin, and this is La Randa Old English. Take care.